Hi everybody. Uh, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good night. Bye. Thank good you. Good evening. Here we go. Mm. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm. Okay, so so no. Hableme, please. Say hello. Hello. Teacher. Hello. Good night, teacher. Hello. 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 Hi, teacher. Si se le escuchas. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, lo que sucede es que no, no. It's my my earphone. Give me one second. Okay, so let me see if it works this way. Um, can you please say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. 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 Okay, uh, so yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. What happens is that for some reason, no me acepta la audifono, so... Uh, it's a little bit difficult this way. So good evening, everybody, and thank you so much for joining today's class. We are going to have be having today uh, session number five, okay? And pretty much es como, como la semana y media completada, you know? So we are like moving pretty much, like pretty, pretty fast. So thank you for always being on time. Uh, let me go ahead and start going over attendance. Puede que escuchen por ahí los bookies, you know. Uh, so, eh, el, el concierto es gratis, you know. Okay. Uh, my neighbors have the bookies tonight. So, I'm going to get started and go over eh, the attendance. So, if you can be so kind and help me with your... Um, with your camera, that would be awesome. So please help me out getting your cameras ready. Um, let me read your names. Um, the, so the, the first person that I got on, on my list is uh, Bismarck. So I don't see Bismarck today. I always see him like pretty first. All right, he's not here yet. Okay. Eh, Claudia Patricia. Present. Thank you. Edgardo Vladimir. Okay. Guys, pero si me escuchan o me oigo demasiado suave. Can you hear me? No, yes. Yes. We can hear uh, you. Te Present, ah, ok. Ok. Si por alguna razón no, no me escuchan, please let me know. So voy a intentar cambiar mis, mis audífonos. Eh, Edwin Ernesto. Present. Thank you. And uh, Evelyn Carolina. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Thank you. Fátima Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, Francisco Alexander. Present. Present. Francisco. Eh, Gerardo Alexis. Present. Thank you. Herman Mejia. All right. Eh, Gerson Rubén. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Glenda Beatriz. All right. Jorge 
Gloria. Present, Elizabeth, present, perdón. No oh, podía. Thank you, thank you. Ahorita la marco. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth. Ok. Eh, Mr. Hule, Mr. Jule. Hi, present. Thank you. Jose Naum. Present. Thank you. Carla Marcela. Kelvin Miguel. Carla Stephanie. Eh, Luis Mario. Present. Thank you. Maria René. Present. Thank you. Mirna Ismari. Nancy. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Roberto Antonio. Present. Thank you. Roberto Betancourt. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sara Belloso. Present. Thank you. Uh, Silvia Ivone. Present. Thank you. Jessica Odales. María Angélica. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for uh, joining, for being here. We are going to um, get it started. All right, yeah, so we're going to get it started here and let me share my screen. Mm. Okay. Give me just a quick sec. Hold on. Okay. So we are going to uh, get started today with session number three, right? So let me share the agenda. We always go over attendance, then we practice verb to be. Uh, today, vamos a practicar como preguntas, respuestas. Yesterday, empezamos con la parte de WH questions. Lo vimos así como pasadito, right? But today, we are going to have the opportunity to practice more, you know, to ask questions, answer questions. So we will be working on that. And uh, of course, eh, vamos a revisar como un par de cositas with some exercises. El día de ayer les pedí que me ayudaran con la sesión número dos. No sé cómo les fue. ¿Alguien tuvo dificultades? Creo que la mayoría las solucionó, right? Unos son de espacios, eh, spacing, un signo, un espacio, una letra mayúscula, un puntito. Son cosas como de formato, you know, eh, no tanto de respuesta. Así que si alguien tiene como todavía dificultades, Mándenme un mensaje directo, you know, y con gusto yo les reviso. I can take a look at it. So, hi. Creo que alguien se le activó el micrófono, guys. Not quite sure. Okay. So, being said that, Let's go over the first activity that we got for today, that is verb B practice. And uh, for doing it, I'm going to be sharing my screen. Well, I'm going to be sharing my, my video here. Okay, give me one second. I think something is going on here. So we are going to get started with Burby practice. And for doing this, guys, I'm going to be presenting one video here that is 
actually about a, are you from, you know, we got this country. So in our case, normally we say, are you from El Salvador? Are you from Guatemala? And we mention the country. So let's take a look at this little conversation we got here so we can practice the conversation as well. Give me one second. Okay, let me make this bigger. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're... Uh, guys, could you hear that? ¿Escucharon eso? Did, did you listen part of the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yeah, yes. yeah I'm just yes, checking here. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Yes. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. So everybody, we are going to practice this little conversation, but of course we are going to make it more personal. So that means we are going to change some specific details. All right, let me play the conversation Hi everyone. one more time. In this, class, you, one. in this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. <laughs> So this is a conversation that we are going to be practicing in the some groups. Okay. For example, it says, are you from California, Jessica? We are going to change that and you can make it more personal. You know, are you from Soyapango, Nancy? Are you from San Miguel, Edwin? Right. Uh, and then you can make it up a little bit. Podemos inventarle a little. Well, my family is from uh, San Miguel but or my family is in san miguel now but we are from i don't know santa ana for example so we can try to put our personal touch into that conversation right um we can modify some parts it says oh um my mother it says here korean but ustedes le pueden decir my mother is from Vamos a usar from, como ella es de. So my mother is from Chalatenango. Okay. Are you from Chalate? <laughs> Are you from Cabaña? Okay. Um, so try to make it like very personal, right? Here, están utilizando, eh, it's Korean, porque usan like nationalities. But us, guys, vamos a utilizar como los nombres de los municipios. So that is totally fine. And that would be a very personal touch in a personal conversation, right? So, vamos a irnos siempre como en grupos para que podamos escuchar a los demás compañeros and then we come back. Um, and I'm going to like have some volunteers present the conversation. It says here, so is your first language Korean? But you can say, is your first, I mean, creo que todos hablamos español. I think for everybody, the first language is Spanish. So you can use, is your first language English? Is your first language Spanish? Yeah, so we can have, yes it is, or no, it is not. Si no lo es, right? Si agregamos algo diferente here, like Korean. Is your first language Korean? No, it is not, right? En realidad no lo es. So 
Eh, I'm going to make some groups. La conversación siempre la tienen en la plataforma, right? Or you just can practice it here. Um, ¿Tomaron captura de mi pantalla o que, les gustaría que la muestren nuevamente? Yes, professor, please. Uh, you can call me teacher. <laughs> I'm okay, okay with Miss. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with Miss. That's totally fine for me. So uh, this is the conversation. You can take a, a picture. You can take like a little screenshot there. Y me avisan cuando están listos. Is everybody ready? Todos estamos listos? Yes, miss. Yes. 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 Yes, teacher. Okay, so thank you for the confirmation. Les acabo de enviar la invitación. So please, everybody, let's go. You got five minutes to practice y luego regresamos. Uh, okay, Nelson is gone. Bye. Voy a entrar más tarde. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Eh, Jimmy, ya que está por acá, lo uh -huh. quiero molestar, le escribo en dígame, el chat. Dígame, dígame. Ah, ¿Cómo me escribe? Ajá. Fíjense que me cambié de computadora, uh -huh. pero no me acepta el, el, uh, el, el ir. Uh -huh. Entonces lo tengo en speaker, pero no sé si no tengo un drive o... No, no sé hay una hay configuración ir. donde aparece el micrófono, aparece como una pestañita. Entonces ah. ahí usted le tiene que dar y aparece una opción eh, de configuración del micrófono. Entonces, eh, tiene que estar... Bueno, dice el mismo sistema, a mí me aparece en español la computadora, no sé cómo va a aparecer en inglés. Eh, dice seleccionar bocinas y seleccionar micrófono. Entonces ahí tienen que estar configurados. Y hay como un, un, text, un text speaker para, para ver eso. A ver, ajá, sí. Trate de intentar con eso. Y para solventarlo ahorita. Gracias. De hecho, sí, acabo de cambiar la escena. ¿Sí está? Pero no, ¿lo escucho? Yo sí lo escucho. Ahorita está con, lo, está con los auriculares. Sí, porque, uh, porque lo, lo puse, según yo lo había configurado, pero no me deja hacerlo. Pero el test no, no me funciona. No lo escucho en los audífonos, lo escucho mm, en el speaker. Eh, bueno, yo le voy a compartir la pantalla. Sí, en esta parte de acá
Sí la está viendo, ¿verdad? Vaya, entonces acá, en esta opción, sí. tiene que estar acá. Uh -huh. Same Assistant y en este. Igual, cuando se conecta un... Bueno, por lo menos... Espérame, Jimmy, que creo que estoy viendo su WhatsApp ahorita. No se ven las opciones. No, estoy solo viendo su WhatsApp. Ah, está bien. No, no, por eso. No, no se lo puedo compartir porque es una opción de, de Zoom. De mi... Sí, yo creo que no se puede. Yo sí lo puedo ver. Sí, pero yo creo que nosotros nos vemos como el setting. Pero voy a intentar ahorita hacer como un, un audio setting. Si no, le voy a mandar una captura. Uh -huh. Vaya, pues. Vaya. Y si no, igual voy a seguir con, uh -huh. con speaker. Sí, porque no, no me había dado ningún issue. Disculpen que ando por aquí, es que tengo dificultades técnicas con mi internet, que o no sé si es el internet o la computadora que está atascada. Ah, vaya, no se preocupe, no worries. Deme un minuto. Quiero ver por qué me desactivó los plugins de esta porquería. Ya no le vuelvo a prestar mi computadora a Aaron. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for coming back. Oh, let me just make sure everybody's here. Creo que unos todavía los tengo en los breakout rooms. No, I think everybody should be here by now. Okay, so thank you so much for coming back. Now let's take a look at something very important. Okay, that is how to make questions. All right, with verb to be. Yesterday, if you remember, Estábamos revisando like how to create some questions using 
um, where are you from and uh, all those things are you from today solamente tenemos por ahí como un review de um, countries and yes no questions so this is like are you from are you from El Salvador are you from Guatemala are you from uh, Sonsonate right or any other place so before we go into the grammatical aspect I would like to have some volunteers so um Guys, any volunteer? Me, teacher. Awesome, Robert. Yes, me so, too. Uh, you can pick, puedes coger un compañero. You can pick up a classmate uh, con quien estuvo practicando so we can listen to your conversation. Um, Silvia, Silvia, yes. Silvia Ivonne. Yeah. Okay, Silvia, are you from Chalatenango? No, I'm from Armenia. Oh, my family is from Armenia too. Are you from the downtown? Yeah. Mm, so is your first language uh, English? No, my first language is Spanish. Okay. And I believe that's it, right? Eso es todo, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. I like it. That was very nice. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing, guys. Um, so, Roberto, I'm going to let you choose. Escoja el siguiente, a la siguiente persona. Que ya le ve con carita de sueño, you know. <laughs> Anybody. Ready, Roberto? Yes, Evelyn Carolina. Evelyn, Evelyn. Oh, okay. Evelyn Carolina. So, Evelyn, who is your partner? Eh, se lo voy a buscar la captura, permíteme. Bye. Lisa. Okay, so Evelyn, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? Give me one second. Eh, estuve con Nancy, Sara y... Bueno, recuerdo a ella dos. Con Evelyn también. Ah, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Ok, ok. So, ustedes escogen. Choose. Eh, con Nancy. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Are you from El Salvador, Nancy? Ye yes. Are you from El Salvador? Oh, my mother is in Aguachapan, from Seoul. Are you from uh, Aguachapan? No, my mother is from uh, La Unión. Uh, so, is your first language um, English? No. <laughs> no. Si <laughs> uh, lo first language is Spanish. <laughs> No sé okay. qué dije, pero, <laughs> pero lo dije. Sorry. Pero lo dijo me. bien. You did it nicely. That's very good. <laughs> very good pronunciation, girls. That's very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, so, Nancy, I will let you choose. Escoge la siguiente. And this is going to be the last. Select next person. Um, a Gerson. Okay, awesome. So, Herson, where are you, Herson? Oh, yeah, there he is. So, Herson, choose your partner. Seleccione a su compañero. Sería Roberto Antonio. ¿Quién? Who? 
sorry. Roberto Antonio. Okay, so Roberto. Okay, there he is. Uh, Roberto. Uh, are you from uh, Kusulutan, Roberto? Uh, well, my family is in Kusulutan now, but we're from Cuscatlan originally. Oh, my mother is Cuscatlan uh, from uh, Cojutepeque. Are you from Cojutepeque? No, we're not from Cojutepeque. We're from San Rafael Pedro. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Okay, okay perfect. Thank you, boys. That, that was very nice. Thank you. That, that was very fluent and that was pretty good, you know. Um, so this is like the way we use, where are you from? Are you from? Okay. Um, and I like it a lot because incorporamos ya como la parte real. So we are not from a diffi uh, difficult or a crazy country. We are from, you know, El Salvador. I am from so I pango, I lo pango, and all of those things. So Nancy, lo que dijimos es de donde éramos, right? I know you got it. I'm pretty sure you got it. So let's go into the following part that is question and answer. So vamos a practicar today uh, just no questions and WH questions, right? So in order to do this, um, I want you to help me, okay, and write five questions que sean just no questions con are you, vamos a trabajar con el compañero, podemos usar are you, is your sister, is your brother, okay. Uh, chicos, quiero verlos, Glenda, Francisco, Edgardo, se me perdieron, where are you? <laughs> okay, and uh, also I want to, and that's better, you know, so I know that, that you're there, so I see your faces. And also, vamos a practicar WH questions, Ayer veíamos como, what is your, where is, you know, your cat, where are your keys, uh, when are you, okay, so I want you to help me with questions, pueden ser cinco en total, o cinco yes, no, cinco WH, okay, try to make as many as possible, and guys, si quieren que les revise alguna porque tienen, you know, dudas, you're not quite sure, con gusto, escríbanme please in the chat, and I can take a look at them, right? So, everybody, tenemos eh, like tres, cuatro minutitos. Empezamos a escribir las preguntas. Yes, no questions or WH questions, right? Me indican si tienen, si no se recuerdan de la estructura. If you need some help, okay. Les voy a compartir mi pantalla just in case. Uh, we are having like difficulties con la estructura para que la podamos seguir.
One more minute. Uh, guys, answering your question, Claudia, that is a good question. Jorge, you, mm, your question is okay. Mm, Roberto, Betancourt, yes, yes, Mr. Betancourt, that's a good question. Thank you so much, teacher. Mm, you're welcome. Okay, everybody. So, um, do you need more time? Alguien necesita one minute? Is everybody ready? Tenemos cuatro, cinco. So I guess we're good. So we are going to move uh, your father. Uh, Mary, solamente quizás como... Oh, are you A? Ah, solamente queremos A. Ah. Um, Francisco, I'm taking a look at yours. En la tercera, creo que le podría agregar where. Y la última solo okay. cambiamos el orden. Donde dice why, why is. Solo cambiame el orden. Okay. Póngale why is. Lo demás está super good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to send you to these small breakdown rooms so you can like practice a little bit. You can talk to everybody. Okay, give me one second here. I'm going to do something. Because I want you to practice with other people. Okay, there we go. So everybody, please join the groups. You have five minutes. Inter interview your classmates. Háganle preguntas al compañero. Interview your classmates. And then you come back. All right. So let's go and practice everybody.
eh, auditor of seguridad industrial. No sé cómo se diga en inglés. Teacher, how do you say that? Please. Teacher, help me. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm listening. Give me just one sec. And what do you say, auditora de seguridad industrial? This is, yeah, I know. This is a, a technical term. Give me one second. Let me get that for you. In the meantime, when I answer, you can like go, go ahead. Okay. Um, Jorge. Oh, okay. Tell me. When is your birthday? When? When is my birthday? My birthday yes. is 20th May. May 20th. Okay. And um, what's your favorite drink? My favorite what? Drink. 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 Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't drink beer. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Juice? Orange juice? Okay. It's okay. Um, when do you live? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Mexicanos. And where do you work? I don't work in a, in a company. I am a, a freelance seller. Okay, good look. Um, are you happy? Yes, I am. <laughs> are you my classmate? Sorry? Are you my classmate? I don't understand. Uh, partner, classmate. Pero es que no lo como como compañero de clase, algo así. Si somos compañeros de clase. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, Gerardo, su pregunta. Um, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Who? Salvador. Ah, okay. I'm from El Salvador too. You're living in San Salvador, Chupango. Uh, no, Lourdes. I I live in Lourdes, Colombia. Nice, nice. Um, Hello. Eh, en el privado le, le, le hice una pregunta en relación a una situación que, que se presentó eh, en la 210, número 6. Eh, no sé si, si nos puede ayudar porque considero de que este, eh, ese problema se nos eh, podría generar a todos. Y a mi criterio está mal escrito, eh, lo, 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 el, el que redactó, digamos, esa, esa, esa página, le, agre, le agregó una S de más a la palabra. Um, ok. So first, let me go ahead and, and take a look at it. Ok. Because uh, right now I cannot give you an answer because to be honest, uh, no sé cómo el ejercicio en sí del que me comenta, pero yo se lo reviso. I'm going to take a look at it. Y se lo encuentro, eh, voy a comentárselo a los compañeros de soporte para que nos ayuden con eso. So no worries. So, um, okay. thank you guys for practicing. Thank you, no worries. So, we have just like a couple of minutes. How was your practice with Bertie? Was it good? Did you have any questions on that?
I guess that's enough, right? All is clear, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. So give me just a second because we got like one more topic to cover for today. So we are going to like continue with this thingy of uh, um, simple present tense, verbi practice. And um, the compañero me comentaba de un ejercicio que había tenido dificultades. But eh, quiero revisárselos antes, you know, before letting you know. Give me just a minute on that. Um, in the meantime, let me go for the next um, exercise and the next topic that we got for today. So, so far, hemos revisado la like, verb is eh, positive. We have also checked questions with verb to be. Right now, it's the opportunity para que repasemos la parte negativa, all right? Eso se si my answer is no. Okay. Um, there are two possibilities when I got a question like are you? It's can it one can be yes, I am, but there is a second possibility that is like no, right? If I ask you, are you a doctor? Are you an architect? Are you a mechanic? So you can tell me yes I am, but of course we got the second part of it. So let me share the video with you. So you can take a look at it, part of the audio, and uh, le listen to this little video right here that is actually about this part. So what happens with negative statements? So me voy a poner en mute para que lo podamos hacer. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be, plus not, plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say, I'm not from New York, rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now, let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So, are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums.
Okay, guys, so pretty much this is what happens with negative statements, right? So we are talking about things that, um, you know, things that, the occupations we are not, or whenever we want to give just like negative um, Negative opinion. statements would be, you need. So these negative statements uh, can be like, I am not right i am not um mechanic i am not a vet um we are not in germany we are not in korea and things like those so pretty much we are just given some negative things here so in order to practice the negative part right now i want you to help me with some examples using negative so if you take a look, you can use the contraction, yeah, that is I'm not, or you can write it like normally you, we have been doing it. So I am not. You can say you are not. This is not, I have to add this because I think this is very important. The contraction que ven acá no es como la más común. This is not the most common contraction we are going to find. So um let's go ahead i'm going to be sharing my whiteboard because there is another way that we normally say it and we normally do it so if i have a negative one it is okay if i say i am not this is good or lo puedo hacer más cortito and i say post uh, i apostrophe um no i am not i'm not yeah, es como la forma cortita. But es un poquito diferente cuando sucede con you, we, and they. Because these are plural. So I'm going to be using are not. So I can use you are not, we are not, they are not. That is one possibility. But la contracción de esto cambia un poquito. We are going to use aren't. Okay. You aren't, we aren't, they aren't. So in the video, encuentran una contracción que es un poquito diferente, right? I'm not saying it's incorrect. Solamente no es muy común. It's not very common. Eh, van a ver más comúnmente esta aren't. What happens now with third person singular? I have she, I have a he, and I have it, right? Which normally we would be using is not. She is not. He is not. It is not. Pero la contracción, la forma más común de hacerlo, is is, apostrophe, n, apostrophe, and then she. So we pronounce it like she isn't, he isn't, it isn't. Como cuando usted dice, no es cierto, it isn't true. Yeah, so that is the negative one. So, we have three minutes to do this. Everybody, please, in the chat, give me some examples of negative things, okay? Well, not negative thing, but negative statement. Give me examples of negative statement. So it can be about you, it can be about your family, family members, or simplemente como datos bien generales. It can also be general things. I can tell you, for example, I am not a doctor, right? So I'm not a doctor. Um, today it is not Friday. So, ahora no es viernes. Today, it is not Friday. Uh, my sister is not tall, right? So, my sister is not tall. Siempre recordamos que iniciar con mayúscula, right? My brother is not Salvadorian. No, that's weird. He's not from... Um, I don't know. I'm going to give you this example. Um, my brother is not from El Salvador. So we are going to, uh, okay. So isn't, solamente recordamos, is, n, okay. And then apostrophe, p, right. So we can use those. So I see um, Maria is giving us some examples. I'm not, okay, English teacher, that's all right. Con ocupaciones. Siempre utilizamos a o am, right? So we always use a, I am not a, okay? We aren't selfish people, okay? It isn't correct. 
he isn't from Guatemala. That's a very good example. He's not from Guatemala. Okay, so uh, this is a very good one. Eh, Roberto, quizás como la contracción solamente podemos cambiarle un poquito y podemos usar isn't, que es mucho más común, pero está super bien. Very nice. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Eh, Claudia, your example is good, pero me le falta el is. So my sister is. No, lo demás, very good. Oh, y un poquito de spelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So, what we are doing for tomorrow is the following. I'm reading your sentences and they are like pretty good. Oh, I'm not near the beach. Okay, yeah, me neither. <laughs> Yo tampoco se acerca a la playa. So, guys, um, pretty much we are just like, stop sharing. Yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing. Um, what are we doing for tomorrow? Vamos a intentar continuar con la plataforma. So, vamos a intentar llegar hasta la 3.4, right? Que es el ejercicio correspondiente a este video, que es negative statements, positive and negative statements. So, every day vamos agregándole un poquito más. Estoy pendiente con el ejercicio, Francisco, que me comentó. I'm going to take a look at it. Y si hay cambios, eh, yo le notifico al departamento. Así que estoy como pendiente de eso. Okay. But thank you. Gracias, Gracias por compartirlo. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here. Nos vemos el día de mañana, okay, at 8 p.m. All right. So have a good night. And thank you for your patience. See you, guys. Good night. 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 Good